Hey guys, welcome back to the Sal Patera channel. Now yesterday we talked about the brand new Carnival Mardi Gras and how it's powered by liquid natural gas, otherwise called LNG. I wanted to make a video to answer a lot of questions that were left in the comment on exactly what LNG is and why it's beneficial to use it for cruise ships. I'll be back to show you right after this. Welcome back and thanks for staying through the intro. As always, if you're new to our channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's totally free to you and we'll let you know whenever we upload a brand new video. Also, did you know we have a brand new cruise news text messaging system? That's right, you can get the latest cruise news directly to your cell phone. Just text the word cruise to 305-574-9213. Now, Carnival's fuel partner for liquid natural gas is Shell Corporation, one of the biggest corporations in the world, so who better to tell you what LNG is and why it's beneficial than Shell themselves. The world's population is growing, and for many, living standards will continue to improve. As a result, global energy demand is expected to double by 2050 when compared to 2000. To help meet this demand, gas will form an increasingly important role. Natural gas is plentiful, and it's the cleanest burning fossil fuel. But some natural gas resources are in remote locations. Transporting the gas long distances by pipeline can be costly and impractical. The solution? We liquefy the gas by cooling it, which shrinks its volume for easier, economical, and safe transportation by ship. So how is liquefied natural gas produced? Natural gas extracted from the ground contains impurities, water, and other associated liquids. First, it is processed to clean it. It goes through a series of pipes and vessels where gravity helps separate the gas from some of the heavier liquids. Other impurities are then stripped out. The natural gas passes through a water-based solvent that absorbs carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. These would otherwise freeze when the gas is cooled and so cause blockages. Next, any remaining water is removed, as this would also freeze. Finally, remaining lighter natural gas liquids, mainly propane and butane, are extracted to be sold separately or used as a refrigerant later in the cooling process. Traces of mercury are also filtered out. Now the purified natural gas, methane with some ethane, is ready to be liquefied. This happens in heat exchangers. A coolant, chilled by giant refrigerators, absorbs the heat from the natural gas. It cools the gas to minus 162 degrees centigrade, shrinking its volume by 600 times. This turns it into a clear, colorless, non-toxic liquid, liquefied natural gas, or LNG, that is much easier to store and transport. The LNG is kept in insulated tanks until it is ready for loading into a specially designed LNG ship or carrier. When the ship arrives at its destination, the LNG is transferred to a regasification plant where it is heated, returning it to its gaseous state. Okay, we're going to rewind right here because at this point, this is where it is going to be sent to the cruise ship and the cruise ship is actually going to receive it still as a liquid state in their tanks and use the liquid natural gas on board. It's not going to be sent back to a gas. So that is LNG and how it's going to be used on the brand new Carnival Mardi Gras for everything from propulsion to lights to the bolt roller coaster and swimming pool pumps. Everything you can imagine is going to be running cleaner on LNG. So that's it for today. Once again, guys, if you're new to our channel, click that subscribe button, click the little bell notification that way YouTube will let you know whenever we upload a brand new video. And don't forget to send me that word cruise to 305-574-9213. See you guys very soon, hopefully up on a Lido deck.